Every day it's estimated that 20 military veterans commit suicide. That heartbreaking fact is driving a First Coast group to get help for those in need, and that group now has the ear of the Second Lady of the United States. On your side's Alex Asaitis has the story tonight. Getting to veterans, addressing the risk factors that we know that exist and lead to suicidal ideation. Nick Howland is a Navy veteran. In his world, the term firewatch means looking out for your fellow warrior. And it's what he and many others are trying to do now on home soil, stepping up to prevent veteran suicide. He says, think of it like this. In a strange way, it's a little bit like CPR. You know, um, if, if you can get people to administer help to someone in acute heart distress before they get to the hospital, your chances of survival are significantly higher. And so we're doing something similar. It's preventing veteran suicide. Helen was a special guest Wednesday of Second Lady Karen Pence as she toured the First Coast, discussing the opportunities for returning service members and mental health. Howland explained how Firewatch is connecting veterans to the community in five First Coast counties and to services. She was really intrigued by it because she has launched this REACH campaign to do something similar. And we're taking it to the next step, not just reach out to veterans to ask them if they need help, but take their hand and get them the help that they need. Which is why Firewatch launched an app to streamline access. Warriors in crisis need only press a button. But Holland says they can use some backup. And in order to get to those veterans, you need the community engaged to do so. You can become a watchstander, someone who can direct veterans to help. Learn more at firewatch.org. Reporting, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.